I am currently organizing my cloth diapers for my baby's first six-ish months of life and I kind of want to go over how I cloth diaper for the first six months with every baby that I have. Hey there, welcome to my channel. I am Amber from 1898mama.com. I am a homesteading, homeschooling mom of soon to be six and I am in the middle of organizing my diapers. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do and how I organize and get things ready for the baby to come. So for this first six-ish six -ish months of life, I use pre-folds, which are just a strand of cloth. Now there's different sizes of pre-folds. I have uh, newborn all the way to, what size is this one? Okay, I don't even know what size this is because it doesn't say. But, baby's awake. But I have a bunch of different sizes. I have had these diapers for, this will be going on my fourth kid now, that have worn these diapers. So I am definitely getting my money's worth and I have saved so much money just by cloth diapering. Even in the first six months, I don't full, full time cloth diaper after that, but um, for the most part I do, but I'm not a full time after that. However, before six months I am. So I'm gonna show you the different sizes and how I do them, how I wash them, all of the things. So with pre-folds, they do come in different sizes, like I said. The orange is the newborn, and I get these from greenmountaindiapers.com. I will link them down below. I'm not an affiliate or anything. It's just where I get my cloth diapers from for the most part. And this is the cloth easy. I buy the organic kind. And that's just for the newborn. I wouldn't be too worried about organic like later on, but just until I know for sure that they're not going to react or anything, I like to get the best of the best. So then after the newborn, my babies actually don't even, like maybe up to two weeks they will last in this newborn size. After that they're on up because my Mommy. smallest oh God. my smallest baby is about eight pounds. After that, they're bigger. After newborn is the small and that's the yellow. And then after that you go up to novice and then you can just look on the website after that and see like each size after that. But with the pre-folds, you are gonna need a few other items. And that is something to cover the pre-fold in because this soaks up the pee. And obviously if you don't have something covering it, then everything's gonna get wet. And then you also need these little, well you don't need these, but these are nice for some folding techniques. These little, grippy things. I'll link this down below too. Of These are called snappies. So I just got done stripping these. I'm pretty sure I stripped them when I was done with them last time but I wasn't 100% sure so I just did it again. And I have two different ways that I strip diapers. One is with something called RLR, RLR treatment that you can just order off of Amazon. And then the other one is like a DIY it takes like borax, uh, water softener, and Calgan, and, or Calgan water softener or whatever. Um, I can't remember exactly what else is in it, but I do have a chart. Let me go grab that. So I actually have some charts that I made that I'll actually link down below and just want these charts. You can just print them off. I'll send them to your email or whatever, and you can have these. But I have a, like, how to strip your cloth diapers and then... Our wash routine in case my husband's never needed them he's never done it but for some reason maybe if I got sick or something and needed to do something this is very beginner very basic you can read the directions and do it as is so to strip the cloth diapers washing soda borax calgan and a half a cup of detergent is the DIY mix so I just got done doing that a few days ago these have been sitting in laundry baskets but now I need the laundry baskets to do actual laundry so we're organizing the diapers. Can you do me a favor and go grab me one of Hannah's, like the biggest doll you can find, yeah. like an American Girl doll or something? So when you fold the cloth diapers, it's really, it's really simple. There are different ways you can do it for boys and girls, but really simple. You could just fold it in thirds like that. You can, it's called like an angel fold and I can't even do it one handed, but it's something like that. And then you flip it up and then that's, yeah, that'll work. And then that's where like the snappies tool comes in handy. It just grips on. I'm gonna try to do it on the doll and let's see if you can see. 
So, like I said, you could fold it in thirds and just go like that. And that's going to be your most simple way. I like to do it this way. Boys and girls, I like to do it this way. I fold it like this and then go up. Grab your snappies. And it just goes on like that. That's how I do it. And then you just grab your cover. And you have the cover on the newborn. And then if anything's sticking out, you just go like that. Really simple. What's nice about the covers is you don't need as many covers as you have liners because you can actually reuse the covers assuming you're not getting like poop or anything on them. So now that we've got like the basics of the simplest way, or at least I think is the simplest way to do pre-folds, now I'm going to go over kind of my wash routine. And this is actually going to be different based on your water level, um, like hardness level, based on the kind of washer you have, based on the kind of detergent you use. There are so many factors. So there are a few Facebook groups that I am a part of that have really helped me like figure things out. I cannot remember off the top of my head. I will try to link them down below or at least put the names of them in the description box down below so that if you're having problems with your wash routine, you can go and look. But basically you just search like cloth diapering in the Facebook search bar, click on groups and there's a bunch and they will help you out. So to wash mine, all that I do is I have a spray thing on my toilet. So until, while they are strictly breastfed, you don't even have to spray the poop or anything. You just throw it straight into the container that you have. I have like an old garbage can and then a cloth liner. Throw it straight in there and then you can throw it right in the washer and get to town or go to town on washing it. Now, once they do, once you do introduce solids, you will have to spray the poop off and then put it in your in your liner. But first six months of life ish, you don't really have to work. So this is my my specific cloth diaper routine. I start with a pre wash, and I actually told our we got like a really nice fancy washer. It lasted us like three years. So I called up the appliance guy. And I was like, hey, I want something that, like, your grandma owns. Something that's going to last me forever. Something that can get used and abused. Give it to me. That's what I want. And he delivered. I got, I mean, it's a newer washer. We've had it now, like, three or four years. But it's got, like, it just looks very old school. And I love it. Anyway, pre-wash. You do, so I do a pre-wash, a main wash, and then a dry. Pre-wash is hot water, heavy soil normal cycle single rinse and I do I use the Tide original powder I have really hard water so that's what I personally use I'm okay with using Tide a lot of people don't like to because they want to use like the free and clears and the organic detergents or like the DIY detergents I have tried all those they did not get my diapers clean so that's why I use Tide and I'm okay with I feel like it's much better than using a disposable diaper anyway anyway and then the second wash so like once the first wash gets over I will open my lid and I kind of move things around a little bit and then sometimes I have to add extra things to it so I'll add like things like these like burp cloths or um, obviously baby wipes we have cloth baby wipes too um, anything extra that I might need to fill it up more because my washer needs to be about two-thirds of the way full to fully get the diapers clean. So then it's hot water, heavy soil, single rinse, line three, Tide powder. And then you can dry. Now you don't wanna dry the outside portion, but you can dry these. If you do have stains on these, like if you'll notice, where's my newborn, is this a newborn one? Yeah, if you'll notice, no, this is small. Um, when you have a newborn, you get that meconium, dark tar poop. I have, is this it? Yeah, will you grab me one of those? So I have 
cloth diapered the baby's very first diaper on for the last four babies. There is zero meconium stains on my newborn diapers. And the reason for that is I, not so much in the winter, but in the summer, will line dry these and the sun will get those stains out. It's amazing. So if you ever have stains on anything white, throw it in the sun. No problems at all. I missed. There's actually not very much that I need to talk about. I'll go back to these things. So these actually come in different sizes as well. So size one is six to 18 pounds. I do know it's kind of like, you going down? It's kind of like buying um, like Carter's baby clothes or Walmart brand or Hanes or whatever. They don't exactly match perfectly with the pounds that your baby is, but I feel like that's with disposable diapers too. After six months, or whenever they outgrow, the largest size, which I'm not even sure what the largest size is. Mine is the dark blue. This is a Nikki's diapers. So it's a different, a different brand than my other ones. But after that, so after pre-folds, I like to use these, which are, they're called Alva Babies. And you just, they have an insert. I don't have the inserts washed right now. You put the insert in, and then it's literally just like a normal diaper. You buckle it, bada bing, bada boom. I love Alva Baby. It is very cheap. I get all of my Alva, Alva Babies either off of Amazon or off of their website directly. Very, very affordable. And then I wanted to show you real quick. This is one of my cloth liners. It is, like the elastic is no longer good, but it still works. And when I throw it in, I'll literally just inside out it into the washer, like that. So you don't even really have to touch the dirty diapers when you do the washing machine. I cannot even think of what kind of diapers these are. Like they're not pre-folds, they're not all-in-ones. I can't think of what they're called. But I have tried the all-in-ones. I do still have a few. I'm not a super big fan of them because I feel like the poop gets stuck in the elastic and I can't get it out. But each person is gonna like their own thing. So if this is your very first time cloth diapering, I highly suggest trying to find like a thrift store or um, like looking on a Facebook rummage page, something like that to try to find used diapers to see what you like. Don't go out and be like, yes, I'm gonna spend $400 on these cloth diapers and then realize this is not for me. This is not what I like. So buy a few at a time and then go from there, see what you like. Okay, as far as baby wipes. I have a few different kinds of baby wipes. I actually bought these for milking a cow, clean the cow's udders. They're literally just baby wipes though. And then I have charcoal wipes. And then I have just normal white wipes. And normally all I do is I just, normally all I do is I just get them wet with water. If I'm feeling a little over ambitious, I'll put some like lavender, maybe some tea, tea, tea tree drops in it. But for the most part, it's literally just hot water and I'll throw them into my, this is my cloth diaper warmer. You just plug it in. I think it's called like Prince Lionheart. Once again, I've had this for a good four or five years. It's great. It does come with a, like a little pad on the bottom. And I'm not even sure what the pad does, but I have not gotten a, a new pad for it since then. So it is a little bit, gross on the bottom but that doesn't bother me so I will get a bowl put all my wipes in take them out squeeze them throw them in there wipes are usually good for two to three days and that and then I just wash those with my normal wash routine I think that's kind of it I thought this video would be a lot more like educational but there's not really a lot to know I guess <laughs> So if you have any other questions or maybe if you want to know how my routine changes, because it does change when the babies are introduced to solids, let me know down below and I can make a different video on that. Otherwise, that's it. That's my cloth diaper situation and that's how we do it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Did you? Silly Ali. Silly Ali. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Callie, you're in jail. Because I needed to film how to put on a cloth paper. No, I just needed it all.